So what do you do when reading the Bible is getting a bit tough? Because again, we're in a difficult season. Um, whatever the situation is like, by the time this video goes out a couple of weeks from me recording it, I still suspect we'll be in a difficult season of one sort or another. And reading the Bible can be hard at the best of times. So what do you do when it's getting tough? A few very short pieces of advice. Comparisons are deadly. Do not look at someone else and think, my word, but they're reading it like this, they're doing this, they're doing whatever. Run your own race. Not least because if you pick the wrong comparison, you're, you're not comparing apples and oranges anyway. But even if you were, still not helpful to you. We are not looking for gold medals, but for personal bests. We are not looking to be the person who has understood the Bible best in the world and read the most of it this morning of anyone that there possibly could be. We're looking to read more of it than we had before. We're looking to understand more of it than we had before. And primarily, we're looking to engage with God and be better disciples following the way of Jesus than we were before because we've been reading the Word. We are promised something can sound like a gold medal in, in 1 Peter chapter 5, the, um, the enduring crown of glory, or the amaranth crown is a direct translation of the Greek, the crown of red flowers that don't fade. Um, but that's one for each of us not one specifically for anyone. Uh, the mountaintop is not a requirement. Every day doesn't have to be wonderful. Follow the plot of God. We are refugees on a journey. That's the kind of language the Bible uses to describe the people of God. We're a refugee people traveling from where we find ourselves to the, uh, to the Sabbath rest that comes at the end of days. You just gotta keep going, friends. So you're finding your Bible reading hard. It's getting discouraging, keep going. And finally, our affections are cultivated in discipline. What we love is changed by what we do. So I don't love reading my Bible. The solution to that is to keep reading your Bible because you'll find that you do. And then finally, dear friends, there is so much grace. You're finding it hard to read your Bible. Maybe you're not even doing it. I mean, you've chosen to watch this video, so you're sort of interested. But God loves you if you're one of his. He is for you if you're following the way of Jesus and he longs for you to come back to him if you're not. But whatever situation you find yourself in, you'll find that God in Christ is for you. You're following Christ, God is for you. And so if your Bible reading is difficult, know that God loves you, the Father's for you, he delights in you. Pick it up and have another go.